how do you reuse one CPI tenant for both development and test? That is one of the challenges that a lot of SAP customers are facing uh, with SAP Cloud Integration or Integration Suite. Uh, the normal process is that you take the objects and add a pre and a post fix to these things. This is of course error prone and it opens a whole host of different challenges that you can face as a developer working on these things. That is one of the things that the FIGAF tools help remove. So here we have an iFlow, just made a change on it. I can assign it to a ticket and this way we can create a transport from our dev system to our dev system and adding some pre and post fixes. We can add a Jira number for this. To do, that way we can always find back and understand what was going on on this case. We can attach all the, the objects that uses, package, etc. for this transport. If we had created test cases with the tool, we could obviously add them here. Um, and then we go to transport where we can start a new transport. And the transport started. Now in the transport, I can go in and I can configure some of these artifacts, what they need to be. So what are the API key in our target system? And I get a lot of approval and understanding about what is going on in this process. So that means you can define things in the next system and you do not need to log into it. So now I'm done, I can send it to approval. Uh, and obviously you cannot approve your own stuff normally, but for this case we do it. And I can, as an approver, I can go in and I can understand what is the difference between the two iFlows that we have. Um, and we can see what are the, what's part is changed between these things. We can also use our, some of the other ways of viewing differences to understand what is going on here. And this makes it a lot easier for us to understand the things that is changed, etc. I can approve it and now I can simply select import or select import via the API. It means that the FIGAF tool will first uh, upload the artifact, configure it, and then deploy it. Uh, and we can see that the deployment is now successful. And we can look at the traces, we can roll back if you want to do something else. Uh, the landscape is set up in a simple way where we have defined the different artifacts in our landscape. If we had a, um, uh, a productive system on it would obviously be a new tenant here. We can see here what are the renaming of prefixes that is added for each iFlows and you can go in and customize these things. You can also go in and customize uh, name replacement for some of these attributes so you do not need to remember the QA uh, HANA name but it will be replaced automatically. Um, I hope you find this interesting. We have a, a fully functional trial in our cloud that is easy to set up um, and where you can see this transport in process and how it will help you uh, manage your integrations. Uh, so go to figaf.com slash devops and try it out. Thank you.